Mandrake, called the Sorcerer's Root, is a very important plant in the realm of mysticism and spellcasting. This plant is associated with Mercury of Greek mythology, but also Hecat of Kemetic Egyptian mythology. And we'll focus specifically on the magical properties of the root. It is said in superstition that people who pull this root will themselves become condemned to hell. And that the mandrake root would scream and cry as it was pulled from the ground, killing anyone who heard it. So very powerful mythology around the sacred plant. It is known as the sorcerer's root because it is widely used in many forms of magic. It is said that you could soak the root in water or brew it in a tea and sprinkle this around the home to prevent evil or bad witchcraft. But be careful not to drink the water or eat the root because the mandrake itself can be very poisonous. Carry the root in your pocket along with silver coins to increase wealth or use whole root to create powerful love puppets. Choose two whole roots that resemble the human form. Bind them together with red string or cord to create a long lasting relationship between you and your mate. In the Bible's book of Genesis, Mandrake Root helps Rachel conceive Jacob. And in Greek mythology, both Cerise as well as Aphrodite are said to have used Mandrake as an aphrodisiac. As a member of the nightshade plant family, Mandrake contains very powerful hallucinogenics as well as narcotic al alkaloids. A wine cup full of Mandrake root was used as anesthesia in ancient Rome. And it has long been useful in not only ancient rituals, but contemporary pagan traditions such as Wicca and Odinism. The power and usage of the mandrake have lasted almost since its early relationship with mankind. It is a plant that is both feared and yet coveted, able to induce powerful hallucinations, but just as easily to induce death.